Hey everybody, welcome to Insight Tennis Tour Stroke Series. My name is Rick Oldroyd. I'm the president and founder of Insight Tennis. I'm also the head pro. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the forehand ground stroke and some ways that you can add tremendous power to this shot. Uh, there's a lot of, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that uh, I talk about all the time some of the misconceptions and, and misunderstandings that exist out there. And one of them uh, that I am a big believer in is that by and large, uh, recreational players and club players um, are holding the racket uh, way too tight. Um, you've probably heard the old school of, of teaching where they talked about you know locking your wrist or laying your wrist back and locking your wrist in position and then you know keeping that position all the way through and, and out through the ball. But clearly if you look at the pro game and the modern game you'll see that it's anything but stiff and rigid. It's, it's fluid, it's loose. Um, in fact, it's almost ragdoll loose. And, and that's actually a, a good way to kind of think about it. If you, if you watch Roger Federer and, and you see him hit tennis balls, uh, that's, that's the thing that comes to mind, you know? I mean, he's here and he lowers the racket into position and he's just relaxed and fluid out through the ball. There's, there's nothing rigid, there's nothing stiff about anything that he's doing. And this is a good thing to think about. Um, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is simply soft hands on the racket. Now that may seem like just a really simple thing, but if you do nothing but soften your hand on the racket when you hit your forehand, you will be amazed at the difference in the velocity of the ball off your strings especially if you time it right and with with little or no effort you're going to create tremendous power because you're creating that power through proper technique and timing now the truth be told if if you swing hard uh, the harder you swing actually you actually stiffen up your body stiffens up and you actually lose power so you've probably heard in subsequent videos where I talk about uh, being really, really soft with your hands and then just a little squeeze at impact to maintain racket control out through the shot. So the next time you're out on the court, just think simply uh, having soft hands on the racket. So you want to hold the racket in your forehand grip, which is the semi-western grip for most players. And you want to literally have it really soft in your hand, okay? And then when you take it back, maintain that soft hand so that as you lower your racket into position and as you start to uncoil, it'll naturally seek that laid back position. As you pull your racket to impact, you make contact and out through the shot and up to the release and finish, okay? But what we wanna think about and feel is really soft hands and then just enough squeeze at impact to maintain racket control. Okay, so the key thing here is next time you're out on the court, that's all I want you to think about. You'll be amazed at the difference. Now, it may take a little while to get the hang of it because it's gonna change the swing uh, speeds, essentially, of your, uh, of your strokes. Immediately, you're gonna have more racket head speed. The softer and more relaxed you are, the more racket head speed you have. Again, back to what we've talked about many times, soft hands, but just a little squeeze at impact to maintain racket control and hold that position out through impact and all the way to the finish. Hopefully that's helpful for you. The next time you're out there on the court, think soft hands, and I think it'll really make a difference in the power Effortless power, you've probably heard that. And my favorite quote, power is a product of technique and timing, not how hard you swing. As always, uh, please click the link below if you like this video. Visit our website at insighttennis.com and leave any comments or questions below as well. We love to hear your comments, love to hear your questions. And uh, when you visit the website, there's a section on the website that I want to bring attention to um, 
It's a video analysis section. And what I want to encourage players to do of any level, whether you're intermediate, advanced, whatever uh, level of player you are, if you're struggling with your game, if you feel like you've uh, hit a plateau, you've hit a point where you just can't seem to get much better, send us a video. Take video of whatever stroke you're struggling with, send it in. I'll look at it, we'll analyze it, we'll give you some pointers and some, some tips to help you and make sure that you've got the correct uh, biomechanics. Once again, please uh, like the video if you like the video. Join, uh, or subscribe rather, our, to our channel at InsightTennis.com. Visit the website. As always, thank you for your time. We'll see you out there on the court.